Hello, my fellow hunters, and happy Clue Day. Another clue, another key release dropped. What is this, almost three days in a row now? So, <clears throat> definitely two days in a row, but we got three keys in the same week so far. And this key is called the Eneida Key. And it is a, the clue is a, uh, a code breaking clue. So more people can participate in attempting to solve this clue versus maybe perhaps the hackathon key. Or even to some extent, I think the cryptographic key, which is the chroma key and the checkerboard key, which have been released this month. So let's kind of get, so <clears throat> I'm liking the pacing so far with these clue drops. We've had, you know, three kind of in a row right now. Um, it's good. They're very different. You have a contest key with a hackathon key. You have a cryptography key with the uh, chroma and the, and the uh, checkerboard keys. And then you have uh, this one right now, which is the uh, United key, which is a code breaking key. So a little divergence in the different types of ways people can solve these puzzles. Uh, allows for people with different skill sets to be able to participate in their clan or individually uh, achieve their, you know, the goal of solving the puzzle and getting their key. Um, I'm hoping that this stays the pace where we're getting one after another. Again, I still would like a, like a mega drop, whether it be uh, 10 at a time, 5 at a time, something to that extent, all by very divergent. Uh, we still haven't, as far as key drops, we still haven't had uh, another, you know, cash two or cash three of the uh, world key, the, the geolocation keys. We were promised at least three additional uh, caches. That hasn't happened yet. And we haven't heard anything about Japan, but when I talk about this clue, I talk, I'll talk a little bit about how this little clue is a bit funny, but also how maybe uh, I was right the first time about the mini Japan hunt, how it might actually be occurring much later in the hunt than initially anticipated. One second. <coughs> so the latest clue uh, called Final Destination, which is uh, attached to the United Key, uh, was dropped earlier this morning. So let's click it and find out what we're dealing with. So once again, uh, we are given the decryptor page right off the bat. So all we have to do, <clears throat> so right off the bat, we are given the decryptor page. So all we have to do is figure out the passphrase for this particular puzzle, uh, which is uh, a code breaker style uh, clue. So Final Destination, which is very similar to um, a movie from the 2000s, entire series, like five films. It came out of the whole late aughts uh, teenage slasher horror movie craze. Um, it might be a potential clue considering the key is called the United Key, uh, which is the name of a, United is the name of a flight, but here we go. Final destination. A phrase has been encoded and hidden in the numbers below. The decipher this and unlock a key. And then it's given us the series of numbers down here. So looking into the clue, and you know, I looked at the, the film Final Destination, and I remember it pretty well. I saw it in the movie theaters and probably a few times afterwards uh, because it dealt with flights, if you will, kind of looked at, you know, is there any information about the particular narrative scope of the film? Um, looking on the Wicca, you have, you know, May 13th, 2000 is when the flight took place. It departed from JFK, which is in New York. Its final destination was uh, Paris, France. Maybe that might be a clue in helping decipher the numbers or not. Um, I also kind of did some research about number codes and things of that nature. I found an interesting code breaking tool that might be helpful. So from the usage of that code breaking tool, um, I uh, put 
put the numbers in and I look to see how often the numbers appear. And it, it charts and tells me, you know, nine appears seven times, eight, nine times, seven, eight. This might be helpful in understanding the, um, the parameters of the, the code itself. Um, just kind of going over there and, and playing with it. Um, again, as you know, I'm not that computer savvy uh, as far as for this game goes but uh, it's just thoughts that just came into my mind um, of concerning um, this particular clue what it could mean I also thought and I put some, the numbers initially in the um, the block explorer for Bitcoin because you know the final destination of what we're doing is obtaining the uh, prize. Maybe this might be a clue that leads us to the Bitcoin puzzle and maybe I'll just play around with that until I either find a ha something that resembles a hash or uh, a block height or something to that extent. But um, yeah, so there's that for that particular clue. And there's actually two movies that deal with um, Final Destination was a, a franchise. The last film kind of was like a prequel slash close the loop. And the person who comes back, uh, the, one, the character that dies uh, actually on the plane from the initial first movie, uh, comes back to JFK December 29th of 2000. So I thought that might be helpful because it, deals with numbers 1229 2000 or 1229 aught you know may 13th 2000 so 513 2000 or 51300 then of course you have gate numbers um time of departure i found this a little interesting that uh, i guess it's before public smoking really was kind of really super banned that there was a no smoking section on flights and of course because um, the first film took place before 9-11 those events um, it's just interesting to see the difference of how dramatic times change particularly when it comes to flying so I want to mention something real quick uh, another observation before wrapping this up was um, yesterday was the hackathon key and one of the prizes and I, I think I forgot to mention during the clue day video was the DevCon. And DevCon is a developer, developer conference uh, put on by the Ethereum Foundation and other Ethereum-affiliated organizations. I think they're going on their fourth or fifth one, and it's supposed to take place in Japan, which uh, when the mini hunt was initially announced, I thought maybe that's what they were referencing to as because they've been doing all these little conference uh, mini hunts and uh, meetups to get business cards and uh, uh, geolocations, you know, to get a key have been centered around certain types of conferences. Uh, and I thought it was weird because it's not supposed to take place until October. But now that the hackathon has a DevCon tickets as a prize, uh, I thought it was just a little weird that... Final Destination, United Way, something that has to do with airlines, and most people have to fly into Japan to order to participate in DevCon if they were to win the hackathon, or just to go to DevCon on their own, or, or even if there's a mini hunt or uh, any geolocations, if they were to uh, try to attain that key, they would have to fly in to reference a movie, a horror movie, in which a plane explodes. I don't know, it was just, I thought that was bizarre. But, uh, okay, so let's wrap this up. <clears throat> so that's it for this particular clue. Uh, we have a number 
code that we have to break in order to decrypt the page that was given to us. Um, again, we have basically two in a row, but three this week of clues. Hopefully there will be another clue drop uh, soon, tomorrow, and just keep this progression, keep this momentum of getting people um, excited and really engaged in the game. Um, seeing the Telegram chat kind of not as active as it has been, maybe because people are just going about solving the, the clues. Not quite sure what that, that's all about. Uh, but hopefully with more um, clue drops, there will be more buzz going around the game. Um, again, I would like to, like I said, I'd like to see multiple in one day, like 5, 10, 15, 20. You know, this game is supposed to wrap up in a year. The, the, these clues um, for a thousand keys need to start popping off because you need 400 out of that thousand and it doesn't mean it's going to be the first 400 it could be as i stated before 45 25 there could be some unsolved for example the earth key the art tour key uh so there's that but here we have it happy so uh this is her shive this is she's treasure hunter this is august 10th the key that dropped was the united key uh, good luck to all the hunters and clans out there, and on with the hunt.